Hello, welcome to Moomoo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. Today I'd like to talk about the metric system. The metric system is a system of measurement used throughout the world, and especially in the scientific community. It is based on tens and can be easy and helpful to use. Let's begin with some basic units of measurements used in the metric system. Let's start with seven frequently used units of the metric system. Starting at the left and moving to the right, we have kilo, hecto, deca, base, deci, centi, and then milli. Starting at the base unit and moving to the left, the deca would have a value of 10, a hecto would have a value of 100, and a kilo, 1,000. Next, if you start at the base, which would have a value of 1, and move to the right, a deci would be 1 tenth, centi is 1 hundredth, and milli is 1 thousandth. Next, let's talk about the base unit. There are three main base units, and they give you a clue as to what is being measured. If you see a meter, it is for length, a liter is used for volume, and a gram is used for measuring mass. All three of these base units are related. A meter is one ten millionth the distance from the North Pole to the equator on a meridian that passes through Paris. If you take this distance and divide it into ten million small segments, you get a meter. If you then divide the meter into 10 equal parts, you have 10 decimeters. If you divide the decimeter into 10 equal parts, you have a centimeter. And then if you subdivide the centimeter into 10 small parts, you have a millimeter. On the other hand, if you have 1,000 meters, you have one kilometer. A liter is the volume of one cubic decimeter. So you can see how the three base units are related. A liter, the volume of one decimeter. Again, you can subdivide the liter into a centiliter, which is one-tenth of a liter. Finally, a gram is equal to the mass of one cubic centimeter of water. Finally, let's look at one more example of how the metric system works. Say, for instance, you have five, you measured a distance of five kilometers. Well, this would be equal to 50 hectometers, 500 decameters, 5,000 meters, 50,000 decimeters, 500,000 centimeters, and 5 million millimeters. Another nice characteristic of the metric system is how easy it is to convert from one unit to another. I've created another video on how to convert within the metric system. Hope this helps, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math video every day.